the anchoring effect. This psychological effect influences our everyday life and countless actions. Imagine you want to buy a car, but you can't find the price. Therefore, you ask the car vendor how much he wants for it. He says, the car is yours for 7,000 euros. Of course, you want to bargain and propose that you are willing to pay him 5,000 euros. He accepts your offer and the car is yours. Now, let us go through this example again. You ask the vendor for the price of the car. But this time, he says, the car is worth at least 20,000 euros. This is way too much and you offer him 10,000 euros for the car. He accepts your offer. Now, why did you pay the vendor so much more money in the second example? You just fell for anchoring. If people are presented with a numeric reference point, they tend to subconsciously position themselves around and only deviate little from this value. This results in a systematic distortion to the set anchor. It doesn't even matter if the anchor is reasonable. The first detection of the anchoring effect goes back to Tversky and Kahneman in 1974. On the basis of an experiment, they found the cognitive effect. Participants had to spin a manipulated wheel of fortune where the only possible results were 65 and 10. After they got a number, they had to first guess if the number of African member states of the UN was higher or lower than their given number and secondly make a precise estimation. Results showed that participants with an anchor of 65 guessed 45% whereas participants with an anchor of 10 guessed only 25% of African states were member states of the UN. But is there a way to protect yourself from anchoring? No, you can only use it for yourself or weaken the effect by opposing arguments to the anchor. Even experts are affected by anchoring, but they can weaken the effect through their knowledge. For example, if an expert wants to buy a car, he can examine it to get a better understanding of its real value, so the anchor of the vendor is less effective. Also, you could just make the first offer and thereby use anchoring for yourself. You set the anchor and the vendor has to respond. The anchor effect also occurs in human technology interaction. For example, if you have a pedometer on your phone, the daily step goal is an anchor. You try to reach as many steps as possible or at least get close to the set number. With an anchor of 10,000 steps, you have to keep up. However, if you are given a different anchor, you will refer to that number of steps. With an anchor of 3,000 daily steps, you tend to stay home and watch TV instead of going for a walk. So, what did we learn? According to the anchor effect, people do not deviate far from a given numerical value. Countermeasures can at most weaken the effect of anchoring but not prevent it. In summary, it's an important psychological effect that affects us every day.